So in today's video, we're going to be talking about investing in SBC Forda for the up and coming Icon SBC. So just for the video does start a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch for the cheapest trading guides out there for just £4, four euro or free with Amazon Prime. You'll receive daily trading and investing guides covering PlayStation, Xbox and PC with an array of methods covering all budgets. And I've been trading for over 10 years, making over 100 million in multiple different FIFAs. And now for the last four years, I've made 10 million coins in just the first month. So in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is we are gonna be walking through the investment in SBC fodder for the icon packs we expect either this week or next week. We're gonna be talking about what happened last year, what did the best, when is the best time to go and buy this fodder, when do we expect the SBCs, and when to go and cash in on your profits. So first off, let's go and have a little look at what happened with uh, icons last year. So basically what happened is we had one to watch, we then had week one of RTTK, and after week one of RTTK, which is obviously the week that has just gone, we got ourselves record breakers. Now obviously this year we are getting week two of RTTK, so we're not necessarily going into a new promo. We also got RTTK one week early this year, which is why this might be next week, not this week, but I'll walk you through what happened nonetheless. So on the 17th of October, which again is no more than 10 days time, I believe on the Tuesday, we got ourselves the Max 86 Icon SBC. The Max 86 Icon SBC did go and require a 84 rated squad and an 86 rated squad with an in form. Then a few days later, we then went and got ourselves individual Icon SBCs of Baby Sen and Baby Trezeguet. And that was about all she wrote. There weren't any too expensive SBCs. We did actually get the Messi uh, a few days after. Uh, and we did get the Alaba earlier in the week. But mainly, we got ourselves the Icon SBC and these uh, Icon player SBCs. Well, what did this do to fodder? So because the SBC came out on the um, 17th of October, what I've done is I've gone and grabbed basically every single rating and had a little look. So remember, it was an 84 rated squad and an 86 rated squad. We start off here with 84s, and 84s went from 2K to 2.7K, therefore seeing a rise of 30% um, if I'm not wrong. So not too bad on 84s. We then move to 85s, and we see a rise on 85s from 6.2K up to 125 and therefore we see a rise of just under 100%. So these players just under doubled, that is 85s. We then move to 86s, and for some reason I haven't scrolled too far in. If you're wondering, I'm using all this data from Footbin, just looking at all the, uh, all the players, we see these go from 12K to the likes of near 16K, so we need to see a 30% rise on them. So again, not outperforming the 85s, but that makes sense because, again, uh, does it make sense? It doesn't fully really make sense because the squad being um, 86 rated. We then moved to 87s and we can see that these were went from 15k all the way up here to 20k. So we can see a rise of again just over 30% on the 87s. Moved to 88s, we've got 20, uh, 20k up to 28k, so nearly a 40% rise on them. Then we move to the 89s and the 89s again. So the higher the rating, the less they rose for the icon SBC, and it's probably more they rose for the player SBCs. We've got Casemiro right here who rose from 26k all the way up there to 37k. So that is a about a 40% rise, so really nice on him. Then moved up to the likes of Manuel Neuer, and Neuer went from 37 up to only 47 for the initial SBC, but I think then the Messi SBC took him up to 50. So the initial rise was just under 30%, so arguably he was a bit overkill, and then that's all she wrote. So the most optimal investments for you to be able to go with was 85s. Then we had the likes of 87s. I can only presume this might have just been the cheapest combo, but 85s, 6s, 7s, um, and then I'd say that was about it. 85, 6, and 7 was the most optimal. 84s and 88s and 89s still rose, but they didn't rise as high of a percentage. So that is last year's SBC. What I'm going to show you is what performed really well last week, because obviously some people invest in fodder, some players did well, some players didn't do well. If you're wondering what is the relevance of this, well, we can kind of see what sort of fodder is rare uh, and therefore moving with SBCs. So last week, 85s, we saw a rise from 3.7 to 4.2, so literally a 10% rise. We saw like a cruise review from 6.8 all the way up here to 8. That is about a 20% rise. We then saw 87s go from 9.5 up there to uh, to 12k. That is what 2.5. It's going to be about a 20% rise there. 88s we saw last week rise from 14.5 up to 16. That is about a 10% rise. 89s we saw rise from 20 to 22. Again, 10% rise. 
and Harry Kane we saw rise from 37 up to 42. So once again, probably about a 15% rise. So the best rises last week were on the likes of 86s and 7s, if I'm not wrong. And the reason for this is just because this year there's so much supply of fodder that we're not seeing 83s move, we're not seeing 84s move, we're barely seeing 85s move. So we're just seeing the likes of the 86, 87s, and um, I think 88s do pretty well. So what would I go and invest in for the Icon SPC? So last time it, there wasn't really that much of a hurt going for anything overkill, as in like the overkill players still work pretty well. I'd also say that at the moment SBC fodder is way way cheaper than last year. You know we saw the likes of Jorginho only being 6k uh, before the SBC. Well, we can see right here that who is an 85. We can see that 86s are only 6k. So I can see them ramping up the rating requirements a bit from last year because of course they probably want it to fit in the economy of this FIFA, not just fitting the economy of last FIFA. So. What I would say the best investments would be would be 86s, 7s, 8s, and 9s. You can go 90s, but I think you've got more of a chance of overkill, whereas if you go 6s, 7s, 8s, and 9s, you've got a much lower chance of overkill. Plus, these players are rising every single week for um, SBC, Fodder Hype, and, uh, and Co. Where would I go and buy these players? So, the most optimal time to go and buy these players is going to be between 10pm on Friday and 7am on Saturday. The reason for this is this is the... Peak accumulation of SBC or packs being opened, but uh, they're not being demanded. And then we see a rise throughout the morning of Saturday. I can show you this happening right here with Tony Kroos. If we go back to last Friday, you can see right here he dropped between 7, 8, so, sorry, 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 5, then drops at 6 pm, then drops at 7 pm, then drops at 8 pm, bombed out here around about 9 pm, was cheap all the way to 2 am right there, but I guess it was, ex well, it was fairly cheap all the way till 11. It wasn't until we saw 11, 12, him rising and rising and rising. So he basically went up 1k between uh, 10 in the morning and by the time we got up to the evening. So your investing opportunity is basically 10 p.m. all the way to about, uh, well, 7 a.m. is ideal, but uh, 10 a.m. And this basically happens across the board. Now, there is a chance for it to be cheaper on the Saturday evening through to the Sunday morning, but that would have to gamble that there wouldn't be a well-demanded SPC on the Saturday. And I mean, I don't think we got an overly well-demanded SPC this Saturday. What did we get? We got the likes of... Oh, no, we got Kudos. I guess that was relatively demanded. Um, so if we didn't get Kudos and maybe we got Andre Silva, who wasn't as demanded, then maybe we could have seen Fodder drop for another 24 hours, but... Do you want to go and gamble that with the potential, chance of potentially making really good money with Icon SPCs? Probably not, no. When do you want to go and sell these players? Um, these players should peak, I would say, a Thursday, either Wednesday evening, uh, or they'll go and peak on the Thursday. The reason for that is because people get untradeable division rival rewards. People use their untradeable division rival rewards to do the Icon SPCs. And once they do the Icon SPCs, then Fodder can rise. Fodder then would go back down again after the likes of marquee matchups. So selling your fodder either Wednesday evening after the 6pm content or Thursday before 6pm marking matchups would be the advised sell time. Again, I would also not panic if we don't see Icon SBCs this week because we did see them calendar equivalent next week. But obviously promo equivalent, we saw them on the week after week one of RTKs. So, you know, there is a chance we do go and get them this week. Also, uh, Leek and McGee's have slightly hinted towards it. I don't know, they might, they might have been taking the mick. But uh, if we go over here... If you follow me on Twitter, um, I do have a list of all the leakers, so I do normally just keep a feed of all these guys. You know, saying it's first time for the Icon SBC, but then it was memeing, so God knows, God knows, eh? But that is that for today's video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video.